blessing. Blessing y'all to get straight into it. Professor 1v1 versus confident trash talker pulls up to the court in the delirium. Back to the future. Okay, okay, swaggy. Y'all watch this real fast. It's slippery out there, man. I seen them play at this court once before. It's real slippery on this court. But uh, he did just break them off. One more time. Hey, and Professor, you got to wash them hands, man. You got to wash them hands, man. I be seeing you be pushing off and stuff like that. Wash them hands, man. I know how that move works. Wash them hands, man. I'd rather you go like this. I'd rather you put your hands behind your back or behind your head. You know what I'm saying? In between, snatch back behind the head and make them fall that way without you actually physically touching them. I be seeing it. You know what I'm saying? I be seeing it. Some people call it out. Some people don't call it. But it is what it is. Let's get into the video, though. That's beside the point. <sighs> it's going to be crazy, y'all. <sighs> My spidey senses are tingling. Oh, six. You gotta be quick. Can't Just burn. be quick. You can't burn, bro. Why you wanna play? You do got a point though. Weak and oh, he got a point. I ain't gonna lie to you, got a point. Yeah. Can't hang with the young ends, man. What's up, live fam? All right, as you can see, we got I ain't a very special, work. exclusive prop for our video today. It is the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future. Now, what makes this DeLorean specifically so special is that the actors from the movie Back to the Future, Doc Brown and Marty McFly, have actually sat in this very DeLorean. Okay. Now, Air DZ and I. I don't believe that. I've seen too many of them cars, man. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I've seen too many of them. There's one in New York, and they don't move it. Now you got that one right there. So how are you telling me there's one in Florida? How are you telling me there's, there's one? Man, I need to keep count all of them. There's one in Texas. How, how are you telling me that's the exact one? Are you sure? I don't believe it. I've been out here all day shooting <laughs> this car, and we've only got it for a couple more hours. So we figured there's no better way to make a video for Professor Live other than to pull up to the court, hop out of the DeLorean, and then poop. But before we get to that, let me show you guys some of the features of the car. All right, so the main feature is the signature butterfly doors. Also, you might think hand-in-hand -hand with the hoverboard from Back to the Future 2, my personal favorite movie of the trilogy. See, we got the air magnet here, you know what I'm saying? Want to get your flight up. <laughs> 2099 style. This is sick right here. So what I'm blown away by with this car is just the amount of detail on replicating the actual movie DeLorean. We got the switches on the steering wheel. We got... What? What did he just say? He said replicate, which means it's not the original. Anyway, let's get into the game. We're not even finna get... We're not even finna go through this. <sighs> All this flexing, flex, flex, flex. <laughs> what was that? He's like, <laughs> what was that? Y'all look at his defense. Oh my gosh. Dang, that's crazy. He's too tall to not know how to block the ball. That's crazy. Dude look like he about 6'5". Hit the backboard. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this. You slap the backboard. Slap the backboard at the bottom. When somebody throw a layup, you slap the backboard. They have to throw the ball to the goal. They have to. They have to. That's the only way it's going to fit inside the hole. Otherwise, what the fuck? Why are you shooting it? Come on, bro. Y'all got to learn how to play defense, man. Who be teaching y'all stuff, bro? 
Y'all don't be watching the freaking basketball games? Y'all ain't seen Shaquille O'Neal when he used to slap the crap out of that ball? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. He got him to open up them legs. Should have already known what was going on. First, he got him to switch his stance. Then he got him to open up his legs. Man, y'all, man, I ain't, even, I ain't even finna keep going, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. I had to fix my camera, bro. That's crazy. He keep doing it. Oh my goodness. When 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 they dribbling the ball, bro. Let me help y'all on defense. When 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 somebody dribbling the ball, bro. Keep your legs on the side, left right like this, like like how your hands are. Keep them on the side, bro. Whenever you put one leg in front of the other, it's over. It's over. He can always throw it in between your legs because obviously you got one leg in front of the other. So it, it don't matter which way you turn around. You're going to end up falling and tripping up. You got to keep both legs to the side as if you're shuffling left and right like this. This is what you do. You keep it like this. This is how you play defense. Don't pull your left or right leg in front of the other one. Once you do that, it's over with. He's going to attack that leg or he can go the other way and you think he's going to go that way. So keep them both side to side. That way, no matter which way he go, you're always not reacting to him he's reacting to you keep the legs side to side you shuffle back and forth that's part of the drills that's why you do the shuffling back and forth you go back and forth come on y'all these are fundamentals it's like y'all forget it because y'all looking at everything he doing with his dribbling moves he doing all that to fake you once he fakes you you're gonna bring a leg forward once you bring a leg forward it's over with <sighs> all right let's keep going though Eventually, y'all get it. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, y'all. This is what he's looking for. So this is the dude, uh, confident trash talker. Let's get it. Can't guard me. Can't guard me. Can't guard me. You can't guard me, bro. Why, why you want to play? Because bro. You're old, bro. I want you to play me right now. Let's go. All right. Well, me and my homie are easier run. So you get somebody, we'll play you. All right. Sounds good to me. You guys get it. How are you going to match up with him on defense since he's so good at ball handling? He's old now, you know what I mean? He don't got it like he, how he used to have it. Do you, so, even, do you even respect his game? Nah, I don't respect his game at all, bro. I don't respect nothing. <laughs> he can't do nothing on me. He won't never do nothing on me. So what, you're just going to bust his ass I'm that easy? bust his ass, bro. That's how it goes, bro. That's how I do. That's how I be. Smooth. I like it. Oh, 
bit more on that. A little bit more mustard on that. That's off. Ew. A nasty shot. He might let drive. Buddy should have drove it. As soon as he caught the ball, he should have drove it. Especially if he's saying, oh, dude, weak. He should have drove straight to the goal. He waited a couple seconds. The other dude dropped in. So then he tried to drive. And once he tried to drive, the other dude, the defender ran up to him. It was too late. It's too late. It's like you got to be quick with it. You can't be waiting, hesitating. You got to go. That's crazy. He's so weak driving. That's a baby. I thought. You feel me? Like, that's crazy. Good mid range. Four. It's a mid range. Heck, y'all get four from? He be cheating. How you step up on the line and say four? What? Dude, is your foot on that line or not? Fucking baby ass shot. <laughs> That's a deep mid range, bro. That is not no. Two three pointer man, come on, bro. I would have challenged that. Defenders still making mistakes, man. I'm gonna keep busting them down, bro, because people still making the mistakes. If somebody going for a layup. Don't go for the person going for the layup. It's obviously you're not going to be able to catch them. Secondly, they have an arm. So when they extend the arm, if you're running after them, how are you going to get to the ball? That doesn't make sense. You go for the ball. The ball is going where? It's going inside the hole, which is inside the hoop. So where do you go? You go toward the hoop because you know he has to shoot the ball toward the hoop. Like, Come on. Is that not common sense? Where else is he going to shoot the ball? Out of bounds? <laughs> like, hit the back of the backboard. I'm going to keep saying it. Hit the back of the backboard. Hit the backboard as hard as you can. They go for a layup. You hit the backboard. I'm telling y'all, the ball is going to ricochet off the backboard and everybody going to go crazy. <laughs> it's like, come on, bro. Once he got you beat, you can't go after him, bro. You gotta meet him to where he's going. That was too fast. Y'all gonna have to play 1v1. That was too fast. Alright, alright. So smooth. Get the 1v1. Alright, smooth. Let's see what you got. Alright, bro. You're about to play 1v1 with Professor. How you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. I feel like I'm gonna bust his ass real talk. Do that then. I wanna see that. Do that then. <laughs> oh, man. He lucky he, you missed that. If it wasn't double rim, you would have made it. That's easy. Do that all day. Go to the left now. All you gotta do is drive to the left. He, he gave you the open lane. He literally gave you the open lane. Y'all gotta pay attention, man. And then look how close he is to you. Why would you even shoot it? Look at his feet. Attack the foot that's up front. He gave you the open lane to go to the left. He wanted to see if you can go to the left or not. You already went to the right. Look at his foot. He's obviously defending the right, so you can't go right. He's so close to you, you can't shoot it. Go to the left. Simple. 
this dude gets closer and closer to the guy instead of doing a step back. Why didn't you step back? You made him go backwards. So all you had to do is jump back to three-point line and shoot it. You went closer to him to get in his face and get contested shot, smothered shot at that, and think you're going to make it. Doesn't make sense. This is when coaches be like, yo, get the fuck off the court. Johnny, get in the get in the game. Cause you're not doing you're not doing right. Like you just I don't know what you're doing. You lost your marbles. You can't put uh, ain't nobody gonna sign you 50 million for that bullshit. Come on now. I need to be a coach or a referee or some shit, cause uh y'all trash. Seven layups, bro, and beat this man. <laughs> Just keep doing the layups, man. I gave that one smooth. I gave that one. Go to the left, smooth. Stop going to the right, though. Try to shoot it, y'all. Why he just do that? Man, put the gloves on, bro. What are you doing? Why'd you shoot that? I didn't think he was gonna shoot either. I don't know why he did that. That don't even make sense. He went like this. <laughs> what is you, a girl? He ain't even like really extend his arm. He didn't have no follow through or nothing. He just, man, you wasting time, man. Get off the court, bro. <laughs> man, go home, bro. Tell your mom I told you to go home. I'll be the hardest coach ever. Tell your mom I told you to go home. <laughs> like, you can't come back and play in, in, until <laughs> you get that shit together. Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Tell her I kicked you off the team for that bullshit. My bad, Professor. Hold up. I got you. I missed I missed a little play. My bad, my bad, my bad. A little easy layup, okay. Let me see this other one right here. Let me see. Easy. He was easy. He was worried about backing backing up. I see what he did. Smooth was more worried about backing up. So he was like, oh shit. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot it then. He already knew what he was gonna do. Let him shoot that too. He's trying to hit it out that bad boy. He already knows what's going on. Smooth. You ain't as smooth as you thought you was, huh? It was kind of foul though, but uh, yeah. I thought he was old and weak. <sighs> you at least should have hit at least 100 push-ups before you play. <laughs> like, come on, bro, muscle up. Gotta muscle up. Froze that man, that's crazy. Froze that man, thought he was gonna shoot the three. He froze that man. He 
old and weak though, right, Smooth? Dang. And then he outran you. How he outrun you? Man, hey man. Maybe because I played basketball in the Bronx. But all I know is let him run down that goal like that on me. I would have been on his ass. He would have he would probably fell and bust his face on the floor. I don't care. He should never try that shit. Like you gotta y'all gotta play more more like I don't know what is it was it passive? Passive aggressive? Like be more in it. If you really wanna win, you gotta be in it to win. You can't be playing around like just wasting time. Wasting air, wasting breath. Talked all that shit and got your ass beat. Appreciate you. Man, I was at one v one. Yeah, it was, it was hard. It was tough. He's hey. pretty fast. Man. Yeah, I didn't know he was that fast, but yeah, hey, you scored a couple points though. Yeah, you know, but I came in and did my thing. Huh? Yeah. Ah, somebody, I thought she was gonna give it to him, bro. What happened? He's very fast. I thought he was old. And that man ain't that fast, man. You tripping. It's all in your head. You let him back you down. You let him, man, you let him take you all the way out to half court so he can run a sprint on you. Why you let him do that? Why would you even get out there with him? No, he ain't going to shoot all the way out there. I would have stood that three-point line. Like, whenever you want to come up four, you bring your ass up. You're not finna shoot out there. You ain't Curry. And you know he ain't finna shoot out there. When have you ever seen him shoot out there before? Never. So, come on, bro. You let him bring you out. And then he played you and ran down, knowing once he gets around you, he, you beat. You ain't going to catch him because you're not fast enough. Oh, man. <sighs> smooth, man. Looks like he pulled a smooth one on you, bro. I'm just going to let you know that now. You're not me, bro. <laughs> I told you it's fast. You got to get fast. I told you in the beginning, man. I'm ready, but I still went out there, you know. Good job, professor. Y'all just pay attention, man. That's all it is, bro. Just pay attention. Study the game, man. Pay attention, man. As soon as every time, every time somebody stepped their foot up, what he did, he threw it in between their legs, right? As soon as he grabbed the ball, what he did, he pulled it back and he stepped back. 
what the person do? They either spent the round or they, they either fail or they overran because they thought he was going for a layup or something, right? Just pay attention, bro. It's real easy, bro. Just pay attention. I think that's I think that's the biggest thing is most people just don't pay attention. They be so, oh my gosh, ooh, ah, blah, blah. you know what I mean? They be so much and excited about what's going on, but not really paying attention to what he's doing. He's not doing anything special. Okay. But uh yeah. Go watch some N one videos or something. Like it's fundamental basketball. As soon as you open your legs up, he's going to throw it between your legs. Once he grabs the ball, most likely he's going to snatch it back. And especially if you're not paying attention, he's going to snatch it back. And you're going to overrun it. And it's going to look like he crossed the crap out of you. Because obviously he did. You kept running and he brought it back. You know what I mean? He's going to keep bringing it back until he gets you. Because eventually you're going to get got. Just try not to get got. I had um, one of my homies up the street. Back when I was in uh, high school, he used to do stuff like that to me. Had me jumping in the air and doing all this extra stuff until I realized, like, just stay on the ground. and Stay in front of the, the defender. You know what I mean? Stay in front of him. And as long as you got your arms out, there's no way he can go around you with your arms out. Well, depending on how, how long your arms are. I got long arms. Um, six foot, so he ain't going around me. You know what I mean? Like, you got to stand, stand, stand in your space. Stand in your space. Keep your arms out and keep them strong, though. Don't just keep them out and just keep them out like this and they flapping around. Because what's going to happen is he's just going to run straight through you. He's going to spin you around anyway. So you got to actually, like, you know, keep him up as if, you know what I mean, you're a brick wall. So when he hit that, he's going to be like, oh, shoot. He's going to notice he bump you and you like, bro, he's not going to get around you. If he can't get around you, he's going to have to pass the ball. You feel me? Like, don't let him get around you. Another thing, don't let him back you down under the goal. Make sure you know where you are at on the court. Once he backs you under the goal, it's over with. In real life, he gets you under that goal in real life, you touch him, it's a foul. Automatically. That's what LeBron James, that's what James Harden does all day. If you get inside that little circle, the smaller circle that's under the goal, and you touch the defender, it's a foul. I mean, you touch the person that's coming down with the ball on offense, it's a foul. You know what I mean? So, eh, you got to stay in front of that. And if you can stay in front of that, that gives more room for you to push them back off when they're trying to go for a layup or that, you know what I mean? That takes them off of their balance. And I still say it's all fundamental, but, you know, I think we're starting to lose that. We don't really have, like, the old heads coaching anymore, you know what I mean? So it's like people starting to lose all the fundamentals of basketball. But i see y'all in the next one. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. I want to play the professor one day, bro. Y'all set that up for me. Y'all DM him, DM him, send him the video. I want to play him so I can show y'all something. All right. See y'all in the next one. Ian the producer. I'm out. Peace.